I want to pay a glowing tribute to the founding fathers of this nation for their foresight in establishing these vital institutions which played a critical role in the resolutions of the three-year-long Nigerian civil war. Unfortunately, several years after the war, the cooperation did not live up to the expectations in attaining its statutory mandate. However, with what I have seen today, I can make bold to assert that DICON is on the march to greatness once again. Following the, the Ministry of Defense Equipment Program for the Armed Forces in the 18th and early 19th, the, co the cooperation embarked on some projects which led to the production of some range of weapons and ammunition such as the rifle number no. one, GPMG, oil assembly, upgrade of 7.6, by 5 1mm and, and uh, 9mm ammunition. Also between 2009 and 2015, the Ministry of Defense engaged a Chinese technical partner for the establishment of a new ammunition line for the production of 7.62 by 9, 39mm special ammunition which has been completely completed and produced, the production is ongoing. It is also within this period that some pilot projects, such as the Parker Wizard, 60 mm and 80 mm motor tubes, and the Nigerian variant of AK-47 rifle, codename OBJ-6, were embarked upon. However, this stopped at uh, the prototype stage due to budgetary and managerial and other constraints. Conversely, since my appointment as Minister of Defense, I have monitored events in DICON and have observed with keen interest the concerted efforts of the cooperation in the execution of the Presidential Executive Order Number no. 5, which employs utilization of local contexts for defense equipment protection. To this end, DICON has been able to produce Nigeria First Indigenous Mine Resistance Ambush Protected Vehicles, mine sweepers, as well as other armored and soft skin vehicles. Furthermore, I must acknowledge the progress made in the area of the activation the Moribot Explosion Factory in Java. Knowing that DICON cannot do it alone, the Minister of Defense will continue to support such strategic partners. So when we run our analysis, we bring it here, we position it here. And this will give you up to one group and two jobs. And then, yes, so now we use this to delete it. So it will give us the energy that that material can withstand. So now we will now compare with the energy that the bulletproof can withstand. So if this is more than that, we now know that that material that we have manufactured can withstand the impact of another nation. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much.
idea what you can I have seen the various uh, development of the industry and I think we are on course doing the bidding of our forefathers who established this es establishment in 1964 and uh, with dynamics of the society and the nature of warfare I think this uh, diacon will make the nation proud in no distant time. We will invest, as the President said, that uh, diacon should be the center of our armament development.